Wolf, match target. Will this leave you howling like one or yelping and whining away? 50 yards, downrange, through the chrono, looking for groups. You know the drill. Check this out. How does it stack up for accuracy? Does it cycle well in semi-autos? Is it better than most because it's made by Ely? We'll look at consistency, group sizes, velocity, and whether it lives up to the match grade height. Let's get into it. 0 0.4 1.22 1.22 0.9 Wow 0.45 Dang Point seven seven. Point six four. We'll go down and uh, check that out. Point seven three. This is the first time I've been out here with the CZ with Wolf Match Target. And I just have a hard time accepting that this shoots better out of the 1022 than it does this. So, last 50 rounds, going to send them down the pipe. We're going to see what it does. Time to shit or get off the pot. Do I ever buy this again? Or do we say, sayonara, wolf? Let's find out. Well, folks, point three. This is uh, it's gonna make a liar out of me. I'm gonna have to check the website velocity on this again. I could have sworn it said 1050, but this is all shooting like 1150. Uh, I think I forged that. Hmm. 0.59. 0.64. Point four five. Point eight three. .63 
0.79 Wow. 0.41 All right, we're going to go down and check that out. Maybe a little saving grace. Shot better than any of the other ones I can remember, so we'll, we'll take a look at it. For an overall group average of 0.6. Up next, Taurus TX22. We've got Wolf Match Target. I'm going to send this to the TX22 to the Chrono. Looking at velocities. Wow. Lower than I expected. All right, wow, suppressor on here, subsonic, may not be a bad deal. Woof, match target. We'll see you at the garage. With an advertised velocity of 1050, the 1022 exceeded those numbers. A high of 1112, a low of 1049, an average of 1080, leaving an ES of 63 and an SD of 13. The CZ457 checked in with a high of 1190, a low of 1128, an average of 1155, and an ES and SD that is near identical to that of the 1022. There's a 7 to 8 percent velocity loss between the CZ457 to the 1022. The 1022 on the low is meeting the rated 1050. The CZ457 exceeded the rated average by at least 10%, enough to take it from a standard velocity to a high velocity round. Through the five and a quarter inch barrel of the TX22 competition, we have a high of 963, a low of 929, an average of 946, with an ES of 34 and an SD of 10. <laughs> Does match and target imply closer tolerances? I weight and rim sorted 100 rounds. Let's take a look at what's inside. There was an extreme spread in the weight variation, 1.1 grains, with the majority falling between 50.9 and 51.6. The rim thicknesses all fell between 0 0.036 and 0 0.037, a one thousandth of an inch difference with one round coming in at 0 0.035. The bullet is shiny black with an oily type lubricant. There was just shy of a tenth of a grain difference in the bullet between the two that we sampled. The powder is a duplex type powder with the majority of it being a small ball type powder, five hundredths of a grain, and the cases were nearly identical. Overall, it leads me to question the bullet. In retrospect, I should have had a wider variation of weight differences to see what really made the difference inside a given round. Although, as they were group sorted, they still had the occasional flyer. Is it rim thickness for the given model of gun? What are your thoughts? Leave a comment. Let me know what ammo you'd like to see tested next. Do me a favor, take a moment and hit that like and subscribe. To all stations concerned, Crafty Fireman's 10-7.